a new function of the DNA molecule, its ability to protect microorganisms against desiccation. Drying is a big stress that microorganisms have to deal with. To do this, what they tend to do is to produce and accumulate certain substances that protect them against drying out. These substances are called share protectants. Usually they're sugars, but what these researchers have discovered is that DNA also seems to play a very important role in protecting bacteria against drying out. First of all, what they did was to subject two bacteria to desiccation. Then they extracted all the share protectants that they had accumulated inside them. And what they did is they checked with an electrophoresis gel whether this content had DNA or whether it didn't. And what they saw was that indeed the bacteria accumulated large amounts of DNA as a response to this desiccation. They also saw that the longer the bacteria were subjected to desiccation, the more DNA they produced. What they did next was they used this natural share of protectant that they had extracted from the bacteria to see whether this product was able to protect a different protein. They had two types of samples. They had the protein with the natural share of protectant and then the protein, again with the share protectant, but what they did in this case was they degraded all the DNA with a molecule called a DNase. And what they saw is in the sample in which they had included the DNase, the protein wasn't as protected as the sample in which they had the protein incubated with the natural share protectant. So in other words, it was necessary for the DNA to be in the product in order for this product to protect the protein against desiccation. So what happens is, when bacteria are subjected to water stress, they start expressing genes that allows them to produce large amounts of DNA and also to uptake DNA from outside of the cell. So basically, the main message here is that although DNA is well known because of its information transfer properties, because it's the molecule that allows inheritance and it allows one cell to transfer information to another, DNA has also other properties that aren't so well known. One of them is the one we've just seen, which is protection against desiccation, but there are others, like for example, acting as a nutrient source or helping in the formation of biofilms. So below in the comments you'll be able to find a link to the paper that I've been talking about and also to these two other papers which talk about the role of DNA in the formation of biofilms and as a nutrient source. I'm also going to include in the description some definitions that you may find useful if you're not familiarised with these scientific terms like for example electrophoresis gel or biofilms. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you next week. Bye!